this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial using the Luminosity Action Sets, the Essence and the Artisan. And today I'm going to work on this image here of my daughter, and we're going to do a, a kind of a color shifted uh, creative edit on this. And I'm going to start out with my uh, Essence Set using a base color work for, from there and it is uh, the one I'm going to use today is called light bright and that's going to run my base color action and I'm going to it's a little bit too bright so I'm going to go to the light bright brighten layer and take that down actually I'm going to go ahead and turn it all the way off there and that looks good like that and these are completely stackable. All these actions work together. You don't need to worry about flattening in, in between. You can run your base color or your base black and white if you are doing a black and white edit and then run any of the actions on top of it and they all work together and combine so you can make your own recipe and not worry about having to flatten in between. I'm noticing just a little bit of color cast in her skin. So I'm going to run the Audios color cast paint on action and I'm just gonna, it's a little bit cyan on our skin here, so I'm going to go to my Adios to Cyan, have my white brush selected, and I'm just gonna very quickly paint over her skin there using my white paint brush. And, and that looks a lot better to me, a lot warmer and more natural. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of dimension to the image, um, just paint a little bit of, of depth and highlights on. And this is paint on highlights and dimension from the Essence. And you wanna make sure with this one that you take your brush down to about 10% to start out and then just build the effect up slowly because it can be really extreme if you don't do that. And if you're using black, it's going to add dimension uh, and depth, so it's going to darken it a little bit. And when you're using, so I'm going to go along the edges with that one here, and if you're using white, it's going to highlight it and add some, some light to the image. And it's a great way to just, it adds depth to the image. And you can see the subtle difference there. And then I'm going to use some of the artisan actions. And these are all color shift, mats, toning, um, gives some unique uh, color shifts to your image as well as some hazy and matte effects. And I'm going to use the blender and this stacks up all 35 of the actions in, in the toppings section. And um, then you can go through and select exactly which ones you want to use in your own unique recipe and change opacities on them. It's a great way to try them all out and just quickly click through and see what they all look like on your image. Now we can open up our folder here and just select the ones that we want to. I'm going to use Candy Coated and I'm going to turn that down to about 35%. And let's see, I'm gonna get Rhapsody, and it gives a little bit more punch and more color shift. Turn that down to 50. And La La Love, that's one of my favorites to use just to paint the background with a lot of um, warmth. And what I do is I turn it on, and then I invert the layer mask, so I hit Command on a Mac or Control I, so Command I or Control I, to invert the layer and then take my white brush and just kind of dot on the background where I want that warmth to hit and then take that down a little bit and so you can see it just gives a little hint of of warmth back there and gives a little bit of added color and then I'm going to finish this off with some of the overlay finishes in the artisan and this also have, most of these have these different sections in the Artisan have uh, diff, uh, different blenders. So you can use uh, the blender to, to quickly try or bl um, blend different um, overlay finishes if you want to mix and match those and make your own recipe. Um, I'm, I already know which one I'm going to use on this one, so I'm going to click on Rich Deep Matte. And that's another one where you want to mask it off your subject where you want to keep it bright and detailed. So I'm going to mask it off of her. And you don't need to be super precise with these ones, but you want to make sure you don't 
have a halo around that. You don't want to do this and then have a halo around them. That doesn't ever look good. So um, I'm going to drop the opacity down on that one a little bit. And going to finish off with one of my favorites from The Artisan for a finishing touch. It's Earth and Ruby Paint on Edges. And it's a just add some depth to the outside of your image um, in a, a kind of a ruby dark color and take the opacity down on that. And so this is the before and after, a very quick and very customizable edit. And you see I have all of my layers stacked up. I didn't need to flatten it all. And uh, you can go in and change anything you want at any time. And it's completely non-destructive. And so I hope that was helpful. And I thank you for listening and have a wonderful day. Thank you.